So in this video, I'm going to talk a bit about package management. So that would be installing and removing software packages on your Linux machine. This is something that's rather different to how you would go about this on Windows. Most people who are used to Windows are used to, you know, searching for a piece of software, downloading an installer from the software's official website, and then going through some sort of install wizard that would give the install program access to your computer, your files, so that it can place the appropriate files into the program files folder. Now, this isn't how things work on Linux generally. The way that you would do things on Linux is through a package manager. So I'm using Arch Linux, so my package manager is Pacman. And Pacman is a brilliant piece of software because it allows you to just give the program the name of the software you want to install and what you want to do with it. So for example, if we want to install the program R, which is for statistics, all I would have to do is we need sudo because if we're working with um, if we're working with programs installing and removing them, we need the root access. So we say sudo pacman, which is a program, minus s if you're installing. I say minus is dash. This is the option we give it for installing programs, and then the name of the program, which is r. So we'll press enter here. You see it says resolving dependencies. What does that mean? That means if you're trying to install a program that depends on another program or another software package, then Pacman automatically makes sure that you've got everything you need for that program to work. So that's like if you've ever been installing a Windows program and it says, oh, installing a C++ redistributables, that sort of thing. Um, that's what this is doing. This is making sure that after you've run this command, the program is going to work. You're not going to run into any issues. Uh, looking for conflicting packages, that's a similar thing. But rather than adding to packages that you need, it looks for packages that might cause you issues and suggests, you know, you may want to pick one or the other, not both of these. It tells us the total size and asks, do you want to continue? So we're going to say yes, because I do want to install this. Press enter. And it's done. It goes through all that. It looks at optional dependencies, um, looks at the ones that we've already got installed. And it installs the package. And that's it. We've now got our on our machine. If we wanted to uninstall our for example, that would be easy. We just do sudo pacman minus r for remove, and then the name of the package, which is r. And the same again, checks dependencies, asks, okay, this is the program that you've selected. There's only one of them, that's what's in the brackets here. And this is how much space you're going to free up. Do you want to remove the package? I don't actually want to remove it, so I'm going to say no. But if you wanted to remove something, you would say yes. Now, why do we use package managers rather than what Windows does? The reason we do this is because the distribution that you're running, so for example, Arch, because I'm running Arch, um, they maintain what's called a repository. And this repository has all of the, the software sort of stored there. So it's a central area that's well maintained and well regulated so that you can avoid things like viruses. I mean, that's not the only reason. But one advantage is that you're not going to accidentally download some dodgy software. It's well regulated. It's from the developers and it's also built specifically for your distribution. So in Linux, different distributions are maintained differently. They might run different versions of the Linux kernel. So 
trying to run a version of software that's been compiled for a different distribution might not work so well. So this binary has been specifically compiled for your distribution. You know it's going to work. They know it's going to work. You shouldn't run into any issues. So another great thing about using package managers is the ability to update all of your packages in one command. This is something that Windows can't really do unless I do think um, with Windows 10, I, I, I don't really use Windows 10, but from what I've seen of other people using Windows 10, I do believe Microsoft have um, introduced some sort of Windows store, which might be a bit more like a package manager, um, where everything's installed through their software and you can update things through that. So the way we would do updates in Arch with Pacman is we say sudo pacman, can't type, s y u. So what we're doing here is we're saying we want to sync things and we want to update. So use for upgrade, you can upgrade specific packages if you want, but if you give it the s y u command, then it will synchronize your database with the repositories and then update all of your packages. So let's press enter. And there's nothing to do because I've updated mine already today. Now it's completely up to you how often you update your software. It's not like Windows where you're just going to get random updates whenever you shut down. You can leave it for as long as you want, or do it as frequently as you want. So that's a bit about package managers. That's really just the, the basics of what you can do with them, but for the most part, all you're really going to be using it for is installing new packages, removing packages you don't need, and updating all your packages. I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in how to install packages that aren't part of the main Arch repository, in other words, packages that are in the Arch user repository, then I'm going to be doing a video on that soon. Um, stick around for that. I'll put a link to it in the description once it's uploaded. Thanks for watching.